You can't explain driving this new Corvette. You've got a new engine, new transmission, you've got the mint engine. Um, there's a lot of newness about this vehicle that makes it revolutionary. Let's do a once over of this once in a lifetime vehicle. First, some interior conveniences. We have the glove box, which locks when in valet mode. There's an accessory power outlet here under the glove box for cell phones and other chargeable accessories. The center console storage compartment can be accessed by pressing this button. USB and auxiliary ports are inside. This compartment locks with the car and in valet mode. The electric parking brake is located here and can always be activated even if the ignition is off. This is how you use the available lumbar adjustment and bolster adjustment. The available head-up display control is here to the left of the steering wheel. To pair a phone, use the infotainment screen and select the phone icon, then connect phone, add phone. Now from your phone's Bluetooth setting, select the name of the infotainment screen and follow the instructions. For NFC pairing information and more, see your infotainment system manual. Now for the doors. If you've got your key fob within three feet of the door handle, just grip and press the door handle touchpad. If the vehicle has lost battery power, you can open the door manually with a key. If you're inside the vehicle and power is lost, to open the door, pull up on the emergency door release handle located on the floor next to the door sill. Here's where you release the hatch or trunk. You can also use your key fob or press the release touchpad here when the vehicle is unlocked. To close it, you just pull part way with light force and it'll go the rest of the way on its own. You can open the hood with the release button when the vehicle is in park. You can also press twice on the remote key or locate the touchpad in the grill opening near the driver's side headlamp. Press it once to release the hood. With any of these approaches, you'll then need to lift the hood slightly until it automatically raises and holds. Opening the hood with no electrical power should only be done in an emergency. Then you'll use the manual release cable located by the brake pedal. The hood is not heavy enough to latch under its own weight. It will remain open until the striker is pushed into the latch. Firmly press down on the front edge of the hood until it clicks twice. To access the battery, first the right hand and left hand side shields need to be removed. Then remove the second cover assembly. If your Corvette isn't driven weakly or the battery is disconnected or drained, you may want to opt for the battery maintainer package. Just plug it into a standard electrical outlet and then into the underhood accessory power outlet. It's recommended to use a battery maintainer. And you just keep that connected while you have your vehicle stored. So there's no worries when you go to start your vehicle after it's been stored for weeks or months um, and you can hit the road. But if you don't have one and plan to use your Corvette infrequently, you can remove the negative cable from the battery to keep it from running down. When the battery power is restored, the windows will need to be indexed by cycling them up and holding up for a second. If you ever have a loss of power, see your owner's manual. Lastly, do not take your Corvette through an automatic car wash. Some car washes may damage the wide wheels and tires and aren't compatible with Corvette's ground clearance. The safest thing to do is to hand wash your brand new baby. 